Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, teacher resources. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today I want to talk about some teacher resources. So this is summertime and this is a good time for teachers to start preparing for the next year, looking at different things before things get frantic towards the second half of August. And I really thought that this was also a great occasion because Amazon just launched their Amazon Inspire which is a website that will give free access, at least at the beginning, to uh, teachers anywhere. You just have to register and the registration page is up on the screen. And uh, you register, you will get access and right now it's free. It'll be lesson plans, quizzes, platforms, lots of interesting things, a community on top of that. So this is a great opportunity to get in and seeing what people are doing. And I truly believe that the switch to uh, digital content for teachers and for kids is here and we're going to see more and more of it and things that are available for free are great to try out and I actually think that some of them need to stay free but I'll get to that a little bit later. So Amazon Inspire we don't really know everything that's in it because you have to have an access code and it takes a few weeks but it's definitely worth checking out and in the summer when you have a few minutes it's definitely going to work out. The next one that uh, we can talk about is uh, Apple. Apple has a lot of services, lesson plans, and resources for teachers, especially teachers that are using Apple products. That's obviously there. Although, even if you're not using Apple products, there's quite a bit that you can do within their framework. But uh, iPad teachers, if you have, a, like I do, a, an Apple a laptop, those are great resources that will really help you make the most out of what you have on uh, Apple devices and uh, there's also the connection that they've made with the Connect Ed uh, initiative uh, from the federal government so you can read about that and learn what you can do. Uh, if we mention those two we have to mention the third one and that is Microsoft has resources and has a community of educators and you can see that they've got regular lesson plans that are connected obviously to the Microsoft products that are ubiquitous one would say still uh, Skype lessons and virtual field trips all three are fantastic ways to use technology in the classroom connect kids to the global environment and help them express themselves in multiple ways and a few weeks ago we did for example a presentation about Microsoft Sway which is a way to really represent learning in a visual way with addition of text so that's one thing that you will find here and you can join for free so Microsoft is doing something very similar. My personal preference is working actually with organizations that are not for profits and are not charging you because I think that's the opportunity for us as a teachers, first of all, to stake a claim on having free uh, publicly available information and it's not tied to any product so it can apply no matter what you have and it does make us as a community of teachers, a community of uh, professionals richer and the two favorite places to go and you can do that on any device because these are websites as, as are the rest are one Edutopia and the organization that came out of the uh, George Lucas Foundation and they've got a lot of videos, blogs, lesson plans and a lot of materials if you're interested in technology integration, 21st century learning, problem-based learning, engineering education, all of the STEM topics have come there so you get very rich conversation, you get colleagues to talk to, you get to read blogs of teachers that are doing it in the field and you get the experts. So Edutopia is a fantastic source for all of that information. I love their uh, mini uh, movie festivals that choose a topic, for example, classroom environment and then have six or seven different videos about how to organize classrooms, how different teachers are doing it actually across the world. Uh, the next one is Read, Write, Think. Read, Write, Think is fantastic initiative from the Literacy Research Association, uh, and, I'm sorry, the International Literacy Association and uh, NCTE, and they've put together lots of professional development sources, lesson plans, and uh, apps and uh, web apps that all allow you to present top-level materials 
for your students to use things that were printed in the journals from those societies and really have a fantastic way to do free professional development with high quality materials that were vetted. So today on Mobile Learning in the Classroom we talked about resources that can help you plan for next year and I'll see you next time on Mobile Learning in the Classroom.